Good morning, everybody, or good evening, wherever you are. I see we are live already on Twitch. YouTube usually has a bit smaller, a bit bigger delay, but looks okay. Mm. I hope that everything will be okay with chat. There, there were some settings changes in the recent past, so maybe it will not work. I have a combined chat from YouTube and Twitch. Mm. Yeah, I'm back at, after summer. I was going to mm, do streams again. Uh, maybe I will open the chat if it works. In a moment, you, we should hear C. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, it works. Okay. Plus, it is also in top right, but whatever. Mm, I was going to get back in the middle of July, but I just didn't have time. And I was busy with other things. Let me also test Twitch, maybe. Does Twitch chat work? And to Twitch. Yes, it does. Awesome. Uh, so, hello everybody. Uh, I'm glad to be back, actually. Mm, I, I don't have very precise plans for today. I am going to look at my GitHub wiki with like my to-dos and mm, see what is there, actually. There were some things suggested in the recent days, so maybe I will do that. I hope to see some new people today in the chat or among the viewers uh, because of that recent interview with Jomatek, actually his interview with me, uh, what pushed me from like 5,000 subscribers to 20 something. Mm. Current notes. notes. Somebody suggested to make playlists, including one for DP lectures. Hello, Mostfa. Hello, uh, Subrat. Just please speak English, especially if you are not from Poland. Mm, okay, this website also works, so I will keep this one open. Mm, plus, I will have it open on the site as well. On the site, I mean, on the second stream. Uh, on the second screen. Mm. Hello, Parvas. Uh, yesterday, I think, or was it two days ago, I uploaded on the main channel, youtube.com slash uh, the third dynamic programming lecture. If you haven't seen it, go do it after this stream. By the way, uh, yeah, I figured you used Google Translate. Uh, after the stream, mm, maybe the stream will be around two hours, I think. So for me, it will be till 2 p.m. Mm. Now I'm back after vacation and I have so many things to do. I would gladly make some videos on YouTube, but I just have other responsibilities. Uh, for beginners in competitive programming, well, I'm kind of doing that. Mm, right, I do DP or uh, binary search. I'm at high school in Brazil and I'd like to know more about competitions and how to prepare for them. Uh, just practice, go solve some problems. Like first learn the language and then uh, just solve problems online and read tutorials about new algorithms. Mm. By the way, I'm very, very glad I did, especially how to practice website. Uh, this one you can find it in my GitHub wiki. Link is in the description of the video. Mm, because I linked this thing maybe two hundred times this summer. I get messages on Codeforces and other websites every single day, and half of them I just answer, solve problems, read more here. Uh, there is also FAQ. Maybe I should update that because in the recent days I answered tens, tens of uh, old questions. Most of them are repetitive. Um, 
how to see DP memoization lecture. Well, I now did DP lectures, the way I do it. I'm facing problem in graphs. Can you please make video on it? I will do some graphs. You know, like, there are all the topics. Yes. I don't think that graphs are more important than other things. Yes, but there's something that is very easy for me first, that is make playlists. Mm, so let's get this done, and then I will move to other things. Uh, I guess everybody who wanted joined the stream, so hi, I'm Kamil or Erichta, and I have two YouTube channels for algorithm videos, like doing code forces problems, lead code problems, some competitive programming, some coding interviews. Where the, the former is what I like and the latter is what more people need. Mm. Make playlists. So let me go to the main channel. And I want to log as switch account Erichter. Uh, customized channel, playlists. Customized channel, maybe. Mm, new playlist, lectures, DP, DP lectures. Add videos, my videos, and save. Is there a save button? How does it look like? Okay, we have lecture number one, two and three. I guess it's all right. The, the name, should the name be dynamic programming? Maybe not. Playlists. DP lectures, yeah, we see here as a thumbnail dynamic programming. No, will it hurt? Dynamic, dynamic programming lectures. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I should also clear the other playlists as well. Hello, where can one find CodeGem problems from these previous years? Go to CodeGem website and click somewhere archive or previous rounds. What is liked videos? Vi videos that I liked myself? Windows 10 free video editor. Okay, I, I guess so. So, I liked my own binary search lecture. Apparently it was that good. Uh, lectures, coding interview problems, creating AI game, but yeah, I don't have a lot of new stuff here, so... That should be enough. I can remove this one. Oh, I, I moved boring programming streams to the second channel, so I should get rid of that. Right, second channel. 
I was practicing some DP problems, uh, but I was stuck at problem that one. Can you please just tell the approach to solve this problem? Uh, read. Read this. Asking for help. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's strange. That is very strange. I still have chat open on the side, but apparently I cannot see it here. That's bizarre. Am I logged in? Should work now. Mm. So for a moment, let me open this thing from the side. Uh, regarding you being stuck, solve problems that have editorials. Then you don't waste anybody's time. Editorial problems with editorials are superior if you don't have a teacher or somebody like, more experienced friend. I don't want to now like stop every five minutes to solve some some problem. You got probably one of the best ways of explaining logic. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, have you been in IOI during your high school? Read frequently asked questions. Mm, I haven't. Uh, I don't. I'm not interested in football. Uh, so you know, Lewandowski is more mm, famous. Mm. You know, it's much easier to watch a video like best programming language to learn in 2019. Plus, it's for all people that know what programming is. While my videos are very hard to watch. If you watch them, you need to focus. I understand why my channel will be always much smaller than other programming channels. <laughs> what happens to humanity? Uh, yeah. There is explanation, I just said that. Uh, are you going to solve any problems today? Not during a stream. Mm. Okay, so I wanted to see here. Uh, there are boring programming streams that are re-uploaded, right? Yep. Five, six. This one is into parts. Three, two, one. Okay, so every, everything one for six I can remove from the main channel. No. Maybe I will do it on the other screen, just in case. YouTube Studio Beta. Oh, in on YouTube there is a new interface for starting a live stream. I tested that yesterday and it was terrible. It was very hard to understand when you start, when you end. I don't like it and neither do other people. It's terrible. It's not the first time where I just prefer the things the things the way they were because I already know how to handle that. Mm. Okay, I want to remove boring streams one for six.
I heard that uh, so there is that thing that is called YouTube algorithm that is basically based on the quality of your videos that is how eager people watch them mm. the YouTube will or will not recommend your content more uh, to the audience and that affects future videos as well it even that algorithm even counts private videos that that were public but are not anymore and this is why um, I want to remove that completely other type of videos from the main channel that are boring streams where like boring programming stream number five for example was seven hours long um, I did some algo research and competitive programmers handbook there and I got uh, almost 3000 views but still the average view time is small like it, it like an average person watched maybe one percent of that video mm. and it might negatively affect my future performance on youtube this is why i moved it to the second channel the second channel is more like whatever and plus i stream there like this is where you are right now on eric tattoo channel or on twitch Actually, I can show you what I have here. Maybe it needs refreshing. Okay, it works. So I have here a list of videos. Uh, and I just clicked all the one through six ones. Mm, boring ones. They are all private, if I'm not mistaken. Some of them have zero views. Those are uh, some YouTube errors like when I start streaming maybe it will try to start a stream for one second but nothing will happen and only then the real stream starts or the other way around just after the end there is like zero second long video and it, it is it never even appears public so we see here such a thing actually some of that were public because here I see two likes and I saw somewhere yeah here uh, it's public video that has zero views and three likes, one dislike. I'm going to remove that too. So just YouTube error, I guess. YouTube isn't perfect with streams. Twitch is much better for that. Uh, but you know, YouTube is bigger. I can get maybe the same number of concurrent views on YouTube and Twitch, but then on YouTube several thousand more people will see the content later. Do I want to remove anything else? Test stream. <laughs> Test stream performs quite well, but I'm going to remove it too. Mm. Okay looks fine to me mm. oh i cannot i guess i cannot group delete delete so one by one let me one more time check that it is on the main on the second panel and, and it works there hash six Okay. Mm. Just want to ask if you come across a problem and have no idea how to solve, how do you get about such problems? Uh, then I don't solve it, if you, I don't know how to solve. Like, what do you do in school, let's say, when you have some math problem and you don't know how to solve it? Like, what kind of question is that? The better you are, the, the faster and uh, more frequent you will solve a problem is versus not being able to uh, can you make a video briefing about how to categorize the problems it would be five seconds 
it's based on what kind of problems it's similar to. Mm, three months can I do it to get to IOI? I don't know your level. I mean, if you just know the basic data structures and C++, then you will not win IOI. You should practice. Mm. ICPC online round in month and a half. A way to organize my team practice. You, sh you should solve all pro old contests plus practice individually. Solve, learn something new, solve hard problems. Mm. How do you start? Tell you some more details about your start with book algorithms. My start is irrelevant because I had very, very good math background. So it should be different for you. Plus, I guess it is in FAQ. Okay, delete. Delete. It's a bit scary what I'm doing right now. Hello, Math Buddies. Welcome back to the stream. Long time no see. I hope I don't mess up names. But uh, MathBuddies prepared captions for the recent video, the dynamic programming lecture number three. Actually, he did that a long time ago, like two months ago, because this is when I created it. It just was, uh, I needed to make it public, but before that, make some description, add tags, uh, review the captions, correct some typos, and I, many times I said, okay, I will do that next week. And eventually I did that yesterday. Guismi says, I didn't understand. And I'm saying that my start was completely different than what your start should be, because I was very, very good in math from school. I competed in... Uh, I competed in math competitions before that. Mm. I can remove some not used videos here as well, just to clear things. Mm. Actually, I shouldn't click that thing on the left. I have missed call. Actually, let me make a call back. Maybe it's something important. It's mail, I should get a package in 10 minutes. Mm. Do you remove anything else? Why you deleted them? You dele <laughs> Hello, no moniker. Uh, I explained 10 minutes ago why I moved some videos to the second channel. So is there anything else that is not public? I have here private videos that are on the second channel anyway. I considered uploading them here. Maybe I will click that. But they are, so those are on channel Erichte 2. Mm. Or maybe three of them are, and the fourth one, 
I was going to like improve that a little bit to work a bit on that. Mm. There are some disadvantages, obviously, to having two channels, but thanks to that, uh, there is some order for people that here, when they click videos, they will not have a lot of random stuff. I also considered back then to move the AI bot videos because they are completely different than anything else, but I guess it's fine. Mm. Okay, playlists done. I mean, DP lectures. I removed some stuff. So we should be good to go. I will remove also unnecessary stuff for the second channel. In future, make an interview video with Radeusz or Tourist. I want to uh, invite some people here, like Radeusz. Uh, Bartek Kostka, that is very active in like educational field in Poland, other good people, uh, other good people in Poland in competitive programming. And I'm going to do that eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just I have no experience in doing stuff like that. So don't assume it will be very like, interesting or valuable. Uh, again, I have some message. Sorry for a moment. Okay, some guidance with combinatorics problems. I don't know, like, you can always Google stuff like that. Like competitive programming combinatorics problems. There will be a block. Uh, okay, I wanted to organize the second channel. Again, here in the videos. Public, 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 okay. What about life things? There's nothing much to remove. Okay, you see here some um, private things that aren't completely public, but I took m the important parts from them and upload it in separate videos anyway. Uh, okay, so this is done and I guess that's everything. So I can remove this point. This is done. Uh, somebody told me to check out uh, the... what is the name? Zonal? ZCO. I thought the name is Zonal. Uh, this Olympiad that is supposed to have interesting problems. Uh, I doubt that usually the entrance level problems are very easy. Uh, but I will check it out. I did the pinned comment on Facebook character. Ah, I guess this is already one of those things to do that are from two months ago and everything below. Mm. Can you create a list of classic problems topic wise? I'm sure there are lists like that. You can just use Google before your question. In particular, search in code forces. Mm. Okay, improve the content. What do, what do we have here? Mm. 
Oh, another cool thing is that yesterday I spent some time here and I managed to kind of install Ubuntu, install Linux on Windows. So if I wanted to code something, I would, uh, I could now just open that Ubuntu emulator and uh, code something there because I'm efficient only in Ubuntu. This is system that I know for programming. The funny thing is that I tried virtual machine and if I understand things correctly, my CPU is so old that it doesn't support virtual machines. It isn't very bad, uh, like everything, like hard drive, uh, I don't know, RAM memory plus CPU, how is it called, the frequency or whatever, the speed, all those parameters of my computer are fine, it's just that it's very old. I don't know, maybe eight years old. I guess it's more than that already. I'm not the first owner. Uh, so it is um, PC from 10 years ago, I guess. Mm. Very old components. And some old CPU do not support virtual machine at all, which is, I was surprised that it's possible, but apparently it is. Uh, I managed to do it without virtual machine, fortunately. Mm. Yeah, Windows subsystem for Linux. I guess this is what I use. Or like Linux subsystem for Windows. Mail. I'm back, sorry for that. ZCO is Zonal Computing Olympiad. Okay, so Zonal was in the name. Uh, specs of your PC. Uh, is it possible to easily display? Here you go. i5 uh, 3570K. 8 giga RAM memory and the GPU was I think 650 something like 650 Ti 650 plus I don't remember names uh, VMs should work I don't get it mm, so maybe just maybe it was some other issue but the main reason for what I saw that that something is not sub, some emulation is not supported was that I think CPU. Uh, I think I heard that the, it's caused by CPU is too old. There are also possible reasons like in BIOS you didn't enable that stuff like that. But I checked all of that, and it should be. Um, it should it was enabled basically. Uh, still, there are some software suggested for to check if it's for sure because of CPU, but I didn't 
run it because just after like extra, uh, I don't know. It, it wouldn't help me a lot if I knew or didn't know that it was exactly because of CPU, I still couldn't fix a problem. So I didn't uh, waste more time on that. You may install WSL2 on Windows for Linux. Well, I'm fine now. Ubuntu works here. Congrats on 20k subs on main channel. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm also happy about it. Just I hope that views will follow with that. What? Mm, I think a lot of those subscribers won't really want to watch my videos, where my videos are about teaching something. Like you need to sit for that, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe more if you want to pause and think about problem yourself and watch it carefully. You cannot do that, you know, doing something else. Like even eating and watching those videos will be hard. Mm -hmm. So I, those 20k subs doesn't mean that I will now suddenly get 20k views on every video. What is sad? but understandable. Can you make a series on solving div2 contest at code versus virtually? Uh, you know, I, I do videos with problems. Mm, it's not that virtual participations of div2 contest would be more interesting. Uh, so, Eraglos, thanks for help, but uh, maybe you are right, but even if, and if I spent more time checking that, I don't know how to fix that issue. If I knew that if my CPU indeed supports VMs and just I need to do something else, then I would continue checking that. Any tips for upcoming ICPC originals? How to prepare, solve problems, practice also with a team, solving old contests. Hello, Eric. So in how to practice or in FAQ, I should add... Um, read more here. Yeah, I have that in my how to practice page, so go go, go there. Uh, in video description there are links. In particular there is a bit about ICPC. Anything like stages in programming? I don't think so. Everything is continuous, you know, not discrete. It's not that you're a beginner and then you're advanced person, if this is what you're asking. Rajit's audience is more involved in CP, maybe you can collaborate with him. Yeah, uh, I'm going to, just also then there's question what we should do. I'm now in contact with Gaurav Sen and with Clement from Algo Expert, and I should make those two things. For both, I have some idea what to do, but if you have some suggestions, feel free to say it now or like later in comments or just write to me uh, what exactly I should do mm. so yeah, may maybe you have a good idea for that mm. so Clement already did some collaborations with other people when he where he just interviewed them uh, what I think is like it will be quite different with me because for a lot of interview problems I will just know the answer and that's it. It's uh, like zero time of thinking. Uh, but still, we might do that. What is the last topic that that can be set as a beginner level? There is no like, border, just like with everything. What is the last topic in math that is beginner level? Uh, so English, please, only. But the question here is, uh, what university is best if somebody is interested in algorithms? Uh, in Warsaw, will this or that be better? Mm. And how does how does studying in University of Warsaw look like? University of Warsaw is more about like, you know theoretical background, computer science. So if you like algorithms, then it's a no-brainer. You choose University of Warsaw. Mm. On complex problems, when I got the logic, I am able to implement faster, but mostly for the first time, there are always bugs in it. Mm. The difference is I have like thousands of hours more of experience, so I'm faster than you, and better in that. And there is no magic that, uh, okay, suddenly do that, like it 
cereal for breakfast and then you will not make bugs in your code. Spend, solve 2000 more problems and you will be better. That, that's my advice. What sort of problems makes you think hard in CP? Hard problems. Topic wise, uh, to think hard. I'm not sure if you understand your question yourself. If you are asking what kind of problems are hard for me, then I answer that questions and it's infrequently asked questions, uh, I'm sure. Strings and graphs. Mm. But the other interesting question would be what topics require a lot of thinking, require thinking hard? And I'm not sure about that. I never thought about it, but maybe it's true that generally like in, I don't know, maybe in geometry you don't think a lot, while in something else you do. I don't know. You have said 2000 hours for mastering CP, not to master. Uh, it is generally said that you need 10,000 hours to master something, and I guess it's also true for, for CP. Um, I think that Nutella programmers in code forces have on average more than 5,000 hours spent on programming, maybe including maps, which is also uh, like fundamental for programming. How many hours would, for, would be for interview questions, even the most difficult interview topics? I have no idea. I think 1,000 hours is enough to really master interview topics, like to be very good in that and have a high probability of passing. This is my guess. And if you know math already and some basic pro programming, then I don't know, 300 hours is already also more than enough. What did I say? 300, yeah. So one month, 10 hours a day. I guess that's enough. Uh, do you do any software development stuff? No, I don't like it. Hackerang good for beginners? Mm. Depends, not for competitive programming. For coding interviews, yes, I guess. Mm. And indeed, do use Google. Just read reviews of, for example, Hackerang. Uh, <laughs> I Almost everybody was interested in things like hacking. Maybe I should start adding things to FAQ. Mm, but I didn't go there. I even bought some book when I was maybe 15 years old. Uh, some book about, about hacking, but hacking is about security, in fact, and you need to know some like, protocols, security, stuff like that. That is, in fact, boring. Mm. Have you ever gave any interviews for companies? Uh, did I take some? Yes, I worked for companies. So I had interviews. For now, it's quite, I'm surprised myself. For now, my passing percentage is 100%. Mm. I guess I was just lucky because I even interviewed for something in my, uh, maybe second year of university and I did programming very badly then. I only knew algorithms. So, and for many questions I had to answer, no, I don't know it. I don't know how to do it. Uh, for example, what is, unit what is unit testing? Right now I know what it is, back then I didn't. And that's very bad. Uh, but I guess I leave good impressions. So for now it's like five out of five for my interviews. That being said, none of that was for huge companies. Like, you know, Google. Doing CP usually will not give you enough for a living, but like I'm an exp I'm an exception because I do a lot of teaching and stuff like that. This problem, please just read the editorial. Do you think CP book by Stephen Halim good for beginners, or is it better to practice and learn new concepts? For beginners, start with Competitive Programmer's Handbook. And yeah, th th I went through this book very quickly, like read some particular moments, and it's a normal book. It's fine. It's all right. 
any interesting ACM ICP Steam star you want to share? Oh, maybe. That's a cool question. Uh, in a moment. How is the feeling when you're in competition with Gennady? Normal. He's just better than me and that's it. To start graph theory, learn it. Should I start with questions and tutorial later? Mix it. Have you tried competitive data science? I don't know what it is, so I guess not. Okay. Uh, FAQ. I went through some of those questions yesterday to see what I have here, and I'm already surprised by how well it is, uh, how well some parts of that are written. I'm, I'm not a good writer in English. Uh, when I compare something that I write, like after thinking for five minutes and what somebody else writes for like problem statement or explanation of some topic, like my, vocabula my, my vocabulary is poor, and uh, the, the way I structure sentences is bad, but I'm, for example, this explanation, I think is just very, very good. Uh, like I've read for that yesterday. What is competitive programming? Some explanation for programmers, maybe also for people outside to not just say what it is, but how does it feel or what are people that do it? Mm. Maybe I should work a bit on that because I get a lot of questions. Mm. Is there two why two YouTube channels? This competitive programming. Okay, th this was in the first part. So I have two parts for about the channel and about me. So, for example, I will ask here a question. Mm. Oh, I had that stuff for editing things. Uh, where was it? Improve the content, I think. Improve the content. Use this online editor. Okay. What are your hobbies? Who are you? What language do you prefer? Blah, blah, blah. What is your job? Why not Google Facebook? Maybe somewhere around what is your job? Uh, what is the proper wording? How did you take? Have? Uh, did you have coding interviews? Mm. Did you have co some coding interviews, I guess? Interviews already. Did you apply to companies? Yes, I did, uh, but nothing big. Mm. Look like Google so far. 
Did you have some coding interviews? Did you apply for a job in a company? Yes, I did, but uh, it looks very ugly. Mm. Nothing like Google so far. Actually, have this so far. It surprises me because didn't know some basic stuff a few years ago. Uh, like unit testing or maybe, you know, classes in C++? Well, I knew what a class is. Mm. Language nuances? Is there a word like that? Have you appeared for any coding interview? Yes, I have appeared, but I don't think that's a good word. I guess it means that I came there. Uh, mm, and I actually have 100% acceptance so far. Uh, this is a separate thing. What surprises me, because I didn't know some basic stuff a few years ago. Like unit testing or language. Specific details. Mm. So this is like I think it's five out of five. Out of five. I'm not sure about the number. I don't think it's smaller than that. Uh, I didn't take all of those jobs, uh, I didn't take all the offers, but I did some short part-time working or an internship. Offered. No. Oh. We didn't try in any big company so far, though. Does it sound nice? Did you have some coding interviews? Did you apply for a job in a company? Yes, I did, and I actually have 100% acceptance so far, 5 out of 5, I think. What surprises me, because I didn't know some basic stuff a few years ago, like unit testing or language-specific details. I didn't take all the offers, but I did... Uh, I... took... And Actually, this isn't relevant. So, I did some short part and uh, or an internship. And also re rejected some offers. Because, after all, I thought, uh, actually, it is boring. Or and or they don't pay well, you know. Mm. I did some short part-time working or an internship and also rejected some offers. I also offered normal full-time jobs. I didn't try in any big company so far though. Okay, looks fine. Mm. Which surprises instead of what? Yeah, thanks, my buddies. It's a very common mistake of mine. Uh, because in Polish we say what? Yeah. Do I have Grammarly open? So 
apparently Grammarly doesn't check what I'm writing here. Maybe it will after I copy it to GitHub. DigitDP, please. I'm sure there are some materials on DigitDP. And please don't like repeat your comments. It only uh, creates a mess. Uh, have you had... Oh, thanks. Have you... Have you had some coding interviews? Did you apply for a job in your company? Uh, what else was there? Oh, I need to create a link for that, but I will do it in GitHub later. Mm. How much time do you spend on programming? How much should I practice? Mm. You're still in uni. Have you participated in ICPC? Maybe also in IOI. Have you participated in ICPC or in IOI? Only in ICPC. I only started in high school and it was too late to... Mm, it was... I started too late to get good enough to advance to IOI. It's a bit ugly sentence. I only I started doing CP quite late, so I didn't. So in high school, good enough to get to IOI and did participate in ICPC though. I started doing CP quite late, so in high school I wasn't good enough to get to IOI. I did participate in ICPC though, I got a bronze medal, blah blah. Mm -hmm. If we were to start today, what approach would you take to learn CP? I would practice. Where did you live and where are you from represents the same thing. Maybe just write where are you from. Do I have separate where do you live? You know, I wrote question. Uh, I sometimes write two questions here, similar questions to make uh, searching easier. If you have a big FAQ, then you want to be able to use Control F. So I will leave both questions. Mm. Should we do Project Euler for mathematics or only CP will do the job? Only CP will do the job. Project Euler is very hard. Uh. The no, not here. Did you do you participate? 
project under. Oh, I don't. I don't. I have hard ma math questions or problems. That good and then I enjoy standard CP more oh, algorithms more. Mm. Don't recommend it that much unless you are experienced enough and want to excel excel to excel at something yeah, single L and want to excel it or in that improve even more. Mm. Have you contributed to any open source projects? That's a good question. Have you partis uh, have you contributed to any open source projects? I haven't. I'm not really that good. Mm. Software engineer. Coding skills are better than average programmer. Style of code and knowledge libraries uh, contribute by making the content and teaching for free uh, You know, there are people that have tens of years of experience and they are very good in programming. And well, I just, I'm very good in algorithms. So it's optimal that I contribute something to the society uh, with that algorithms, in that algorithm field, and other people do open source projects. But yeah, I, I do some volunteering. I spent, I'm sure, enough time during a year uh, for free. I'm not really that good software engineer. My coding skills, like style of code and knowledge of libraries, are not better than an average programmer. Instead, I contribute by making educational content and teaching for free. Mm. So, thank you, Prashant, for suggestion. That's a good question. What do you think of making a competitive programming zero to here in Udemy, uh, so uh, so that you are also paid? I do that anyway on YouTube, you know. I I make those videos, so um, it's not that Udemy would be much better. Mm. I would need to spend a lot of time, and because competitive programming is a niche, I wouldn't earn a lot of money from that. I prefer, mm, so there are two things, there are at least two things that I, maybe I will write it down, I think that's very interesting, not necessarily in FAQ, let me copy that, here, uh, 
here. Grammarly will do the job. And I need links. Have you contributed to? That was third last. I will get back to this question in a moment, to the, this suggestion. Have you contributed? Now, around what is your job, I added, have you had some coding interviews? Maybe I will move it after, why not Google Facebook? Mm. So this is after, why not Google Facebook? I, do I need to automatize that? I waste like half a minute extra on every question because I need to like scroll things, copy the name. Mm. Where am I? Here. Plus the worst thing is that if I change the name of something, I think the link will be messed up. Did I change the name of some question during this stream? I don't remember. Uh, what is your job? Link, copy, edit. Here we go, and I added only two questions, right? Did that modify anything more? Solving one virtual code forces contest every day for one year. How good is this strategy to learn all basics? It's fine. It's well. It's about the amount of time you spend. The, by choosing v like very very good plan to practice, you just make yourself more efficient a bit. Mm, so, I wouldn't do that much, vir that many virtual contests. It's more important to solve problems on your level or slightly harder than to read about those topics that you encounter. Uh, hello, I'm Raj. Buenos dias. Good morning. Mm. So, the question here was something like Demi. What do you think I'm making a competitive programming course on Udemy? You're also paid. Oh, I guess I missed some some comments. Uh, any help needed? You're helping me already. Which language do you use for competitive FAQ? Uh, what do you think of that? I want to answer. English is good. Thank you. But you know, it's not. It's far from perfect. Mm. I want to elaborate more on this, and maybe write it down also to myself and for others. I'm not. Maybe even it should be a separate tab. Mm. For now, I will put it in current notes. Uh, the thing is, um, I care about several several things when choosing what to do, what to do my career. Uh, okay. The order is irrelevant. So, 
Let's go. Uh, important things are helping others, making money. Mm. How interesting it is. Is there anything else? So if it's that short, then I will just put it in, in a FAQ. No, it's messed up. Current to do. These three things might might be most important for me, like job wise, when I think should I do that. Uh, how interesting the job is, whether I make money from it, I'll pay, help me others. And the thing is, if I can help one million people for free by spending one week, I would do it. Uh, if I help, of course, one million people. Uh, during one week and I would get money for for it, I would prefer that. Uh, so th there are some trade-offs. For example, I can do a lot of private coaching. And it is interesting enough, but not that interesting. It gives me money, but it only helps one person at a time. So mm, in terms of that, it's... Mm, it's better to maybe make classes for 10 people then I help more uh, people and I don't earn less money though there's still a market for for private lessons uh, maybe also effort required you know for our time investment whether I need to prepare for something while doing something hard, like maybe coaching somebody for IOI is harder, it requires more effort, it's though more interesting. It evens out. Mm. And the thing is, by making my YouTube videos, I do help others. There are thousands of people that use that. Uh, that use my content on t on YouTube. Uh, it is interesting. Maybe hmm. I wonder how I would order things I do by how interesting they are. It requires effort. It doesn't really provide money right now, but it should eventually in the future. So I treat it also as an investment. In particular, I want to make s sponsored videos where like, th there is a lot of money in coding, or in coding interviews. So I will mo monetize on that. For example, by uh, giving affiliate links to like, courses uh, like the Tech Interview Pro, uh, Tech Interview Pro by Joma and TechLead. Mm. Mm. So there is some money to that. And the thing is, Udemy, well, I think it should give me more money than YouTube with sponsorships. Less people will, fewer people will use that. So this point is lowered. And Udemy requires a lot of effort. Because by, if I provide a product and people pay me for it, I feel an obligation that it should be really, really good. And it's a plus because it makes it better, but the thing is, instead of spending 10 hours on a video, on some lecture, or maybe 5 hours, I will spend 50 because I want to polish it, and it's not really worth it. It's not like it will be 5 times better. It will be better by maybe 10%. Mm, plus, I will be like, stressed about even, I don't know, light quality. Mm, so these are some thoughts. Mm. That's maybe it's good to write them down and then when making choices to think about that. Um. Video stops. Are there some issues with a stream? 
you added have you had something indeed thank you mustafa let me quickly uh, fix that have you had but this was a question that i added was there any other have you had i guess not yeah so that's fine it works hello dark knight welcome back after the summer mm, how do i start i want to become a web developer google your question i'm not a good web developer i don't know how to start there have you read coding looking for a challenge book part of it i own both looking for a challenge books they are i think there you became darker after summer vacation i can't focus now uh, maybe it's lightning you know i can move along a little bit now i'm lighter but yeah, i i got some tan during summer uh, able to solve problems but i can time how to think fast practice mm, i guess it both depends on iq and it can be improved just like any other category or field how to find minimum of max degree from blah blah blah, blah. Uh, i'm not helping with problems right now maybe you should start a boot camp so that you can do both coaching plus earn money uh, you know i coach i'm going to coach in some like icpc camps or ioi camps though mm. no. it would be convenient for me to live in usa and from time to time so do so, to make some boot camp for coding interviews where the the prices there are crazy it's like five thousand dollars for say one week and coaches aren't even that good so i think i could charge five thousand dollars per person and earn like fifty thousand in a week mm, but i the the market is different in europe maybe i should do the same Mm, in Western European countries like France, Spain, Germany, England. Uh, but okay, I f I have another thing that is mm, not only how interesting is it, but how cool or f you know fun. It is. Um, th those are two different things. This means in how interesting it is. It isn't that interesting for me to work on easy stuff. But doing YouTube is cool slash fun, even if it's easy. While making some bootcamp well, I think it would be interesting for starters and then much less than that. For cool fun, I have no idea. It depends on how well it would be to work with those people. I think those are two separate uh, points. Mm. And you know, for cool fun, it's different to make a camp in Warsaw and different to maybe make something in a different country and also travel because of that. But then effort is greater. free course on Udemy but how is it better than what I'm doing in YouTube if I spend the same time the same effort for YouTube slash uh, versus Udemy why would Udemy be better I'm sure there are free courses on Udemy for also algorithms I guess I would pre be able to prepare something better but why would I compared to just doing what I'm doing on YouTube. Uh, hi Eric and everyone, it's been so long since last stream. Congratulations on 10k, by the way. Thank you, Gupta. Welcome back. Um, Shroud. No. Yeah, the practice is the key. Uh, what's your favorite problem? Why did you like it? Should I add something like that in FAQ? I'm sure I said what are my favorite categories. Uh, so. 
my favorite. I remember one cool problem for high school, but it would be too long now to uh, talk about it. Uh, suggest some resources. Practice. Read my FAQ. There is how to practice has ICPC section. Great fan of you. Thank you. If you can't find up your t opportunity in USA for boot camps, consider India. It is huge market for good boot camps now. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot more people willing to train, but the market is not necessarily bigger because the money is smaller. The USA average income, I'm sure, is like 10 times bigger at least than India. So it might not be financially viable for me to do something in India in terms of boot camps. Uh, though I was in India twice already, and like one time it was a programming camp where I either, either got $500 or I think it was completely free. So I did volunteer in that there and i think that was the case it was connected to snackdown contest there i prepared some problems so i got paid for that but then i went for five days that i think it was you know one of those things that are also free for students um, read my faq compet or google competitive programmers handbook how about publishing a cp book i'm not that good of a writer so I've let's um, I'm going to add that about me or about programming YouTube channel. I guess programming. Do you plan on? Will you write a book on algorithms? Or something? Not likely. Not a good write. You know, I make some blocks, stuff like that, but. Mm, I don't have that good knowledge from university about writing, uh, you know, scientific stuff. Um, the way I would choose words, things like that are, it's not perfect. Mm. Maybe it makes a lot of sense if I work with somebody, you know, if the other person is good and also technical. Then I enjoy a lot thinking about ways to describe a problem. To, thinking about how to explain that for some problem, how to say why you should think about this approach instead of just uh, giving this approach. And I would try to do that more and more here on YouTube channel, or also when I write code, uh, code versus editorials. I'm going to keep that in mind to do that well, but uh, a book is for somebody that's really is good in writing. Mm, I think I will stick to just short blocks. It's not book. I think should have higher quality. And not like I'm not a good writer. Maybe with some co-author. Mm. Enjoy thinking about the, the best way to explain something though. Maybe I will call out or something. So I guess Kostka right now writes his master thesis. And it will be a book that he will also publish in Code Forces, I think, for free. There will be free PDF with a lot of hard topics in CP, like really well explained FFT or Matroids, Matroids intersection. Things that some of that is in Emacs, but it will be the first, I think, the first in the world book on very hard algorithms. 
So, like looking for a challenge is a choice of hard problems, medium hard problems, while cost cost book will be um, a book on hard algorithms, and he will teach them. That's cool. But again, also it's a big time, and it's a huge time commitment. Commitment. No, that's a word. I have a lot of things to do currently. Okay. There's also that question about Udemy appearing from time to time. And don't think it's better than I'm currently doing YouTube. A paid course to make some money. But I can reach more people on YouTube. I feel that I need to spend a lot of time to make the best possible product if somebody is to pay me. I don't think that it's better than what I'm doing, what I'm currently doing on YouTube. I could ma make a paid course to make some money, but I can reach more people on YouTube instead. That. And I would feel that I need to spend a lot of time to make the best possible product if somebody pays for it. I don't want basically need to stop doing other things now. Okay, I guess I'm happy with those explanations. Mm. I need to fact check that, but I think that Udemy takes 50% um, of uh, come for price for buyers that find the, the course there. There's some distinguish because of course I checked out things like Udemy and it's something like if somebody uses my own link so I tell them go check out this course and buy it and then I will get almost 100% of that maybe 90% which is cool but if somebody like searches through goes through Udemy website and sees my course maybe because it's recommended I, only, I will only take small part of that small 50% uh, money in case of buyers to found the curse mm. well mm. so link recommend
That's a lot. Currently doing, I think I changed that, right? Uh, maybe from the end. Ghostwriter is someone whom you hire to write your book, maybe Google it. Uh, yeah, but so it's, you know, it's cheating. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so if I understand correctly, Ghostwriter is somebody that will write a good book and I sign my name on it because I'm, let's say, well known. So people buy it. That's very, very stupid. Like, I mean, it makes sense money-wise, but it's cheating. Mm. Of course, I could work with somebody who has good technical knowledge and English skills, but this is what I called co-authoring. Make domain courses, videos, and graphs, and DP and recursion rather than solve the random contest, please. I make some lectures, and I'm aware that lectures are very valuable. Like I recently made DP lectures. I think this is the best content on my channel. Every year, hundreds of thousands of engineers graduate in India. Most of them would love to attend your bootcamps here. Uh, but you know, if the price is like hundred dollars for one week, then it's not valuable for me. Well. USA makes it possible to charge $5,000 for a person. Mm. Am I a Muslim? No. Like, Poland is most, mostly Christian. Mm. How would you recommend looking for a challenge book for beginners? It's not for beginners. And you can Google stuff like that. It's not for beginners at all. Can you do a video on good DP questions and good graph questions? I need to... Uh, I think I need a system for all those suggestions. A lot of times I just see make videos on graphs. It's, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm aware that graphs are some topic, some category in competitive programming or in algorithms. And... Uh, Maybe at least some subconsciously, I then remember that a lot of people wanted problems with graphs or digit DP. I should make a website or something like that, where you can vote. Like if you want. Like, please do graphs, please do DP. Or other suggestions, and there you can fill the form. I will just get, I don't know, an email for that. Mm. Well, right now, it would be very inconvenient for me to just copy every such suggestion. Or just count votes. I need to automate that. It's it's too thick. It's too frequent. Mm. Looking for a book. Read my FAQ. I recommend Competitive Programmer's Handbook. Uh, Diff free is fine. Udemy evil, evil site. Uh, competitive programming or projects. Whatever you want more. If you are good in algo, do competitive programming. Otherwise, uh, stick with projects, they are enough to like, to become a good programmer. That being said, if you are applying for a company that has a coding interview process in, in, in form of algo questions, then you need some algo preparation. Uh, 
If your end goal is to write AI software, uh, then you don't have to prepare for like Google Code Jam to get to the finals. Mm, though, you know, those most prestigious things in the world, like, I don't know, maybe uh, Come AI is that uh, voice thing, right? Or not? Right. Open pilot. Tesla. Okay. Anyway, mm, you should stick to machine learning, first of all, if you want to do that, like or AI, and spend time there. Uh, I think this will be optimal. I easily can imagine scenario, and I've, I'm sure it happens, that there are some people that practice algo in high school and university, also doing some machine learning, and they maybe get to ICPC finals. Then after university, they go to that field of AI. And the fact that they get they got to ICPC finals means they are very smart. So also it's an like argument to hire them. And they will do a great job as long as they know some machine learning. Uh, but also if you are smart, then just focusing on machine learning and doing some projects, become expert in that, you will be hired by those companies. So you if you like algorithms and competitive programming, I think you should uh, train that because it will also help. It also helps in like, you know training your brain. And there are some similarities, some connections. Uh, being good in algorithms will help you a little bit. Um, but if you aren't that good and you don't want to train algo just for the sake of training, then focus on machine learning. This is my advice, but you should like, Google more about it and ask other people too. Maybe people that are in the field. Like find somebody that does machine learning, does AI, ask them. Do you think that for these competitions I could get a job in these companies? Yes, it will help. But not necessarily more efficient than spending the same time on projects that are related to AI and applying this way. Uh, by the way, this is very valuable, th this is very nice questions versus all those repeated ones. I appreciate that. I'm not going to add that to FAQ because it's unusual. Uh, so I will gladly answer things like that as if I can answer, you know, I'm not an expert in AI. Mm. If you do good in competitions, they say it in the recruitment page. Okay, then you have your answer. Why is Tourist very good? Because he started training very early and he's smart. Uh, what version of Linux Ubuntu do you use? Um, it's either 16 or 18. I'm not sure. Where I When I installed it on my laptop, it was 16. I think. Mm. You're welcome. Do you do long challenges in Couch if it's running? No. Uh, so I'm sad to say that, but usually Couch problems are of lower quality than other contests. And there is a very easy explanation. It's not that Couch is like bad or something, setters are stupid. No. The reason, I think, is they have scheduled contests. And even if they don't have quality problems, they still need to give something to people because they say we have a contest every month. And from time to time, they will just take some uh, very bad problem. Mm. While AdCoder is amazing, for example. Uh, that being said, I used to do CodeChef, and especially now with Div2 Division, I think it's good for um, beginners. My, my complaint about their quality is often that it's, the problem is very standard. It's just some complicated segment, but it is good for beginners. If I were very like, early in my algo development now, uh, algo career, I think 
I should do Couch of Long Contests. Uh, graph questions of IOI quality. Is it a question? You write the whole book and he just takes care about the grammar, framing sentences and all that. Are you sure this is what ghostwriter means? I I heard that term in completely different meaning multiple times. Mm. And maybe I will eventually, like in 10 years from now, when I have more time, if I have more time and more experienced also in language and in algorithms, and then I will write a book. You know, online materials are something that you can keep improving. Uh, that, and they are just available for everybody. Mm, well, book is something that you write, and then I don't want after five years to see it and say, I wish I wrote it in a different way. Uh, plus, like business-wise, I want to do something related to coding interviews. Like maybe this year, uh, like that booting camp or online course. Mm, so I will, I will likely do some of that. Mm, but like, I feel that making book it requires a lot of time, and I would want to make it very very good. Uh, but if this is what the ghostwriter means, then of course, yes, it makes more sense. Mm. Best platform, AdCoder. Okay, I should do polls for topics. Uh, use poll in Telegram. Telegram is not that well known worldwide. In particular, I don't use Telegram every day. There are online tools for polls. In particular, like uh, Google something. I mean, there is something like Google Form or Google Poll. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Open terminal and execute that on stream, please. Don't you miss sudo here? I think we need sudo before rm to make it work. Mm, how you mastered C++ basics? I googled C++ course or did it in Polish. MIT open course for algorithm course. Yes, but it's not perfect for competitive programming. You know, it's good if you go to um, if your goal is to stay in university and do some like theoretical stuff, computer science, it's cool. But for competitive programming, there are more like uh, materials just made for that. I, I saw some strange complexities, like minimum of something and 10 to the power 9 minus k. I can't remember, like, uh, I don't remember uh, what the problem was, what was that exact complexity. CP up for my university project, that's fine. At Coder is good, yes. Social platforms. Okay, I'm going to add a question. Mm. Before, who are you? What platforms do you recommend? At Code Forces. Or refer to how to practice. In how to practice, I will put also information about platforms, or maybe it's already there. Mm. So 
I need links to all of that. Can you help me with a problem? Everything from Euler, Project Euler, yeah, to what platforms do you recommend? So, four last things. Edit. Question and link. Question link. Yeah, I definitely need to automatize automatize this in some way question link it's very bad coding practice uh, if you cannot change the name something because now some other thing will silently like stop working Do you participate in Project Euler? Will you write a book on algorithms or CP? Will you make a course on Udemy free or paid? What platforms do you recommend? How to practice link? Okay. Mm. How to practice is here. Colored forces. For more, refer to. For more info, refer to how to practice. Not for more platforms. For more info. We are two hours in, so I will soon finish because, as I said, I have a lot of a lot of things to do. Mm. Uh, platforms they recommend and the link works cool now here what platform should I use yeah it's answered here cool uh, at Kodar is good yes it is any ex uh, any example from your life about learned from mistakes? You mean my private life or like encoding? You know, encoding when you make some mistake, then you should you are less likely to make it in the future because you will remember that more or less. When you are explaining, please explain how you are approaching the problem and how to think in that matter. I try to do it. Uh, does Linux skills matter for a software developer engineer? No, they don't. Uh, balanced binary tree in Java, which data structure will be best to have? Like balanced binary tree is best for that. Or you mean like what to choose? Just Google the name that you need and there will be some tutorials. Uh, I usually use something that is not really uh, that popular way to implement things that we need here. And that is scapegoat tree. Uh, yes, I do. The g links get deleted because of how how is it called? The censorship, like, so that people wouldn't promote random stuff. Uh, YouTube automatically puts links on hold. I eventually will need a mod, a moderator 
for my streams. And at least when I do something, maybe on the main channel, if I will do some streams, mm, I will get a med moderator for that. Mm. Your favorite blog post of all time in CP. Makes sense. But that, you know, there are things like that. There's list of awesome content, something like that, like lists of good blogs. Not that important. Where can I find the FAQs? Prob video description. How to develop logic in competitive programming. Practice. Search Ghostwriter on Google. I, I believe you. I understood what you said. I'm just saying that I knew different definition. Uh, as I said, if the definition... What you described as Ghostwriter is fine for me and that makes it more possible for me to make a book, but still I don't want to right now. Are you replying something like Algo Expert for interviews? Yes, likely, but not in the form of videos. Mm. I think that written content is superior, like if well prepared, then written content is superior for learning how to code and stuff like that. So it will be just like some choice of problem of important problems and lessons. Mm. So maybe something more similar to interview cake. Why at coder is amazing? Because they have good problems. Mm. How do I start? Read FAQ. Uh, what major you took in University of Warsaw? I tried mathematics, computer science and economics. I didn't finish anything. And read FAQ. Mm. Can you put the vids in separate playlists? Because yeah, some of them are in separate playlists. On the main channel there are playlists. Uh, here maybe th there are like 20 b boring streams already. But with numbers it's very easy to go through them. But maybe they should be a playlist too. Actually, I will do that in a moment. I'm guilty of spending too much time in learning theory before solving problems. Any advice on how to find the right balance? Make a goal. Say that you want to every month solve, say, 50 problems that are this level. Let's say you want to solve problems division 2, D. And make a goal, this month I want to solve 50 problems. And mark it on calendar or something. Can you show your resume? No, I, I'm not going to. Why would I share exactly my details, stuff like that? Plus, I don't have currently an up-to-date resume. Resume? Re resume? Uh, stop spamming. Make an interact... I, I think I already saw this question and as I said, I'm not helping with problems right now. It's not this kind of stream. Make an interactive web page for CP apart from YouTube, if you have time. Uh, so what would be there? Is Carmen good book? Yes, but not for beginners. I wouldn't understand it if I wasn't good if in math. Mm. Yeah. When somebody like, is really consistent, I will consider banning. But for now, it's fine. Uh, so I wanted to... Check. By the way, I need to make some limits for these questions. I want to be productive myself during boring streams and it's bad if it's bad if there are like if the stream is two hours and out of that more than one hour I answer questions. With moderator it would be better, but I don't want to get moderators for boring streams. They are not that high quality anyway. Uh, playlists. YouTube Studio. Mm, not here.
or is it customized channel? Boring programming streams. Two, three, four. That being said, I don't think that anybody would like go through them, like bing watch them. There are quite a lot of videos here. Mm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Here we go. Some streams are into parts because. For example, the, my connection was broken for one minute and then YouTube split the video into two parts. Mm, playlists. Maybe I should get rid of Code Forces thumbnail. I don't want to spend time on creating thumbnails like in Photoshop, making that uh, like word boring stream number this, uh, then cleaning GitHub. Uh, but maybe just no thumbnail at all would be better, because right now everything looks the same, and that's bad. So th this doesn't look nice. Uh, so the, the thing is that I just took Code Forces logo from the internet and set it as thumbnail and it's the default thumbnail all the time. I think this is better. Typing speed matters doesn't matter a lot. See you, SecDeck. Sec Mostly code in Python, mostly it uh, it gets time in exceeded. Uh, is it true C++ is beneficial in coding? What's your opinion? No, it isn't beneficial in coding. It's better for competitive programming and maybe for implementing games, for coding games, because, uh, um, because it's very fast and efficient and that is important in some fields, but not uh, not everywhere. What kind of questions is that? St stop asking so many questions, especially if a lot of them can be googled. Explain in detail in short about distributed code gem what problems they ask. Did you try going to code gem website and reading those problems? How many people are selected from Google Kickstart? Uh, around top 200 I think has some opportunities like it's good to be top 200 and then you can use it as some argument I was high not necessary they will write to you but at least you can put that on your resume mm. I don't know yes likely yes never used my data structure part and I find most of them solved by playing math uh, data structures. You can choose by tag. You can choose problems by tags. Pff. 
should I maybe in my streams make like 25 minutes of coding, uh, you know, something that I do and then five minutes for questions. But then there will be a lot of questions and I will not have, I will not find time to answer all of that. It's quite strange that even with 20 viewers, I get so many questions here. Like one third of that are, of them are by Nizam. Uh, Nizam, stop spamming. You are asking too many questions. Stop. What is was what was your university project? You know, there were a lot of projects in your university. Mm, so, I wonder how it would work with a timer that is displayed on the screen. That twenty five minutes of normal job, like I'm cleaning up GitHub, and then five minutes of questions. Mm. Thanks for shout out. Uh, I'm just worried that there would be similar number of questions just, you know, compressed in those five minutes. Plus, there is a value in uh, for streaming. The whole magic of streaming is that you can interact with people. And if you enter a stream, and you are forbidden for next 20 minutes you know, to, to say anything, it's bad. <sighs> I can't even ban people because Restream Chat is... Uh, mm, I think it's bugged. Okay. Nizam, stop, just stop spamming. Uh, hmm. Oh, one more thing that I need to decide. Uh, so I didn't say that, but actually today it was very important for me how many viewers I have on Twitch. Mm, because right now it's five. And I do consider abandoning Twitch completely, just to make things easier for me. For example, because of that, uh, because of that chat thing that is just bugged with Freestream. What I wanted to do, oh, I wanted to open the chat. I think you should do something for like half an hour, then answer five, ten minutes questions. Five, ten questions. Twitch is really slow comparing YouTube. Is it? I think it's it has much lower delay. Like when I start streaming after one second, I see myself in Twitch. It allows like near real life interaction, which is cool. Mm, but it has some. Does it allow, uh, you know, using playback? Can I scroll by five minutes? I can't. For sure, I will stick to YouTube. I mean, for sure, I will keep using YouTube as long as I do that, unless I talk with maybe Twitch administrators. Um, I'm not allowed to get partnered on Twitch. So I have some limitations. I'm not guaranteed to have best um, encoding like resources. So, so from time to time, it's possible that Twitch will downgrade my video to like 720 uh, resolution. 
stuff like that. So mm, I'm just considering abandoning Twitch. From time to time I have streams where, uh, in fact, Twitch is bigger than YouTube. Uh, this especially happens when I do something like AI game, coding game, something like that, where they have Twitch channel, they shout out me, or they even host my channel, then I get more viewers because of that. Mm. But just... I do consider just staying on YouTube. So, two things now to do like that I wonder what I should do about is first the chat thing. I don't want to spend most of time during streams or have the time answering questions. And second is, can I just leave Twitch? Because I'm, I think it's more likely that I will do it than not. Uh, I see some old comments I didn't answer. Mm. So answering to can. It's just a matter of practice. With more practice, you will be better. That's it. But of course, some people are more talented, maybe because they had uh, like better school, better, um, you know, the, I think that what you do when you are a child matters a lot. And I, for example, played with calculator even. Mm. Not five minutes, rather answer questions that you find worth answering. Yeah, but I still need to read them if I want to choose those that are worth answering. Okay, there is this here. Some books, read frequently asked questions. Yeah, my buddies, I, I think I will talk with person like maybe you, maybe somebody else that about being a moderator. Um, still, if some boy job, if some job can be avoided at all, it's better. And getting used to moderator is bad if if I have an unregular, unregular schedule, then the big Twitch streamers, they have some particular hours, like four days a week with these hours, then it's more predictable. I sometimes schedule my streams like a day before, like today it was that. So I will also see whether I can do it regularly from now to like the end of year <laughs> you know, that's that's actually funny good for you um so nizam was like timed out a moment ago on youtube so now not nizam is on twitch uh, What course? I don't know. I didn't try any. Mm. Any plan do you suggest? Yeah, practice, solve problems. Read how to practice in my GitHub wiki. Okay, what about this? Mm. Assuming that my viewership will not be smaller than now, so it's not like five viewers, it's, I usually expect something like, let's say, 20. Uh, there, are, there will always be some people that already know what is up. You know, they, they, are away, they are aware of frequently, frequently asked questions, stuff like that. So my, um, how is it called? My, I ask you that you also answer some questions, just maybe with a link. So, that being said, I need to check, is there YouTube chat bot? There is something like that for Twitch.
you know, in Twitch it's something like you write in chat exclamation mark and then say FAQ, it gives you a link to FAQ. I want something like that. And then I can just type this quickly, spend one second on that, like not one second, three seconds on that. Um, or s somebody from the audience can do it. Why am I so dark? My camera has auto, you know, auto light adjustment. If I cover the light part of the background, it affects the whole thing a lot. It should be better now, I just covered the window. Mm. Solve problems, then you will know how to solve problems better. Uh, I don't know what is better here, sorry. Both methods are fine. If you feel that you lack a lot of theory, then you should take well-structured course. Uh, why does Petr code in Java? Because he likes Java. He's better in Java. Yeah, exactly. Nice shirts. <laughs> Good. Um, I think they are quite normal. Best uh, free chatbot or YouTube. I heard about Nightbot, but is it free or cheap? Is Nightbot cheap? Uh, free. It's free, cool. Okay. Is Nightbot reviews or opinions? <laughs> Streamlabs chatbot. Actually, if I hear in Streamlabs say whatever, I need to log in. Mm. Okay. Because I use Streamlabs OBS, that is a very well built and quite comprehensive uh, software. And it's also free. And indeed, it should have some chatbot already. Mm. 
The one downside is that it's local and you need to have it open and maintain to use where Nightbot is hosted 24-7. If I stream on YouTube, I don't care about um, the comments not working outside of the stream. By the way, here's Streamlabs. This is what I have on the side, next to also like restroom with uh, window of a chat. Though that chat that I see in Streamlabs right now is only for Twitch comments. How long did it take you to become good in coding problem solving? Read frequently asked questions. Does CP help you in real life to analyze a situation or any way in daily life? That's a cool question. I think that analytic analytical thinking is good in real life. Things like, uh, you know, just what is the optimal way to get somewhere that you understand, for example, that in a city where um, streets are parallel to each other and uh, perpendicular, it doesn't matter much which way you take, uh, stuff like that. Uh, maybe some financial decisions. Mm, should I... I don't know. Should I take a loan? Is it is this worth it? If I buy a phone for five hundred dollars, and on average I use a phone for two uh, for two years, then it's either broken or I sell it or give it away to like my sister. Then, what is my monthly cost of that? Things like that. Analytical thinking is very cool. This is one of questions that are indeed interesting and unusual. Um, I certainly see a difference of thinking about life, uh, like, like s everyday things, uh, what my friends, like how my friends think about it, uh, that do competitive programming, and those that are, let's say, normal. I use a word optimal a lot, uh, like whether something is optimal or not. Mm, what else? Also, ordering of things if uh, if i know if i have several like, things to do say your responsibilities then should i take the shortest thing and do it first or maybe this should be anyway done before that one mm, let's say that you need to for code forces you need to prepare a round and then Mm, or you need to write down some proposals, then you think, okay, I want to make some job already for testers, so they would could already start. Because of that, instead of start, instead of doing something for all the problems, I will just take these five problems. I will get them to state where they can be tested, and then I will move to other problems. So I will maybe not care about statements so far, only just. Like, uh, intended solution and tests plus the I will leave the short statement instead of doing just whatever in random order uh, so yes it does affect it I think it helps in analyzing real life situations will there be more materials on solving POI problems yes there will be uh, there's right now a lot of thing in there are there are a lot of things in Poland around Olympiad and whatnot. In particular, there is that Olympiad for youth, uh, for people that are in primary school. They, they also make some online things. Mm. I will also be in some project that is called CMI, where. Uh, I will make cl more classes in Warsaw that are free for students. So it's very hard for me to say what I will be doing in the next like, months for now. Maybe I will know more in a month. Uh, so right now, 
I have that spike in popularity because of the Joma Tech interview and I want to use that to indeed get some views. So I will not... You no, know, 99% of those people are not interested in POI, in problems that are very hard. Uh, because of that, I think next thing that I will do is maybe Dynamic Programming Lecture 4 or some coding interview problem but later I should get back to POI, maybe before like second stage. Uh, by the way, POI is Polish Olympiad in Informatics, for those that do not know. Mm, how to increase diagonals optimally? Uh, I'm not talking about algo now, I'm about problems. Okay, so let's... I wanted to finish already, but let me check out Streamlabs chatbot. Oh, it's a software. I thought it's built in. Dashboard. What is dashboard? Mm. For now I expect the stream to end in like half an hour. The only thing that I will do till the finish, uh, till the end is just playing with this chatbot. Uh, my first goal is to make FAQ command. And then that will be it for today. And hello, Geo Camel. Have you seen jailbreaking the simulation with George Hotz? He talks about being in the simulation and that he wants to get out of here. What are your thoughts about this? It's one of those things that it's cool to talk about it. Uh, it's cool to talk about it when you have a beer with your friends. But other than that, I don't know. I think it's... Um, Yes, I'm stop spamming. Uh, okay, I will do that in a moment. Uh, so I think it can be proved. I'm not remember. I don't remember exactly that if we are indeed in a simulation, it is possible that we have no way of uh, of knowing that. So it's kind of similar similar to thinking. Can this be possible? Like. Can God exist? Like, thinking about it will not give you anything. Uh, no, that, that you will not get an answer to this question ever. So um, then I will not talk much about it. Uh, the, the, the name you said, George Hotz, I do know from YouTube. I don't even remember his face right now, but. I, I heard that name and trail breaking the simulation yeah so I heard some different arguments like uh, for sure it is not a simulation because it is too boring and the simulation would be more interesting you know like a movie stuff like that uh, hide user on this channel Okay, cool. Mm. Someday do a boring programming stream. 
N and what is the end of sentence? Take questions from audience. Yeah. I guess I do that right now. Okay, let's get back to this thing. Uh, the background should be that, I guess. Start. Okay, can I just stick to YouTube? Okay, I need to log in. This is Eric Tattoo. Allow access to everything. didn't work login to streamlabs I also need to eventually make some shortcuts, like key bindings for hiding screen, shoving screen, but it's not urgent. Audio device, default audio engine, blah, blah, auto connect and launch. Mm. A lot of things. Mm. I guess the default settings will be fine. How long had you been streaming? Isn't it possible to see on YouTube that you can like scroll back uh, just below the video? I'm streaming for now three hours, two and a half. Uh, support comments. I want to add a new comment. The comment will be FAQ. I will add cooldown later. Action response. Mm. Just for now, a link to FAQ. Submit. Okay, please somebody try. It should be, I think, exclamation mark and then FAQ. I will try as well, but for that, I will just pop this out maybe. Okay, we are on Arista Two channel.
trim of line. Okay, here is an issue. The, this thing shows an issue. Uh, why is the string of line update? What? Mm, nope. Console. I will try to log in and uh, I mean log out and in again. YouTube streamer. What did I do? I hope I didn't mess anything up. Uh, so what about now? Whoa! Something works. Uh, okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Four, five, six, FAQ. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four seconds are acceptable. Uh, apparently, you don't write exclamation mark. I think I prefer it with exclamation mark. I'm used. What do you guys think? It should be FAQ or exclamation mark FAQ. And the same, of course, for other commands. I don't think that hash is uh, oh wait if if it uh, reacts to any substring of a message then it's stupid uh, what abc this is sentence with inside Now FAQ as prefix of a sentence. Okay, and that's a bit strange. That let's say I will met, make a comment for help, and then somebody will say, "Please, no, maybe not please, help me with this problem." Uh, I don't like it, so I will add some character. And I like exclamation mark. If a lot of people think that it should be something else, then please tell me. I don't like hash. Maybe question. But comments, I guess, are connected to exclamation mark. It makes sense. How to modify edit. Mm. 
I, if it's just a link, then it's not visible that the bot answered. Actually, I would prefer that it would be. Like, there would be a, a separate account that is a bot. Now it looks like I wrote that. Slash uh, absolute values question mark minus. Exclamation mark. Okay, so here's exclamation mark plus. Obviously, we need some delay. Maybe first I will check if delay is necessary. So, what happens if I say thank you? Actually, exclamation mark is quite hard to write them, especially with Q later. Cost, what is cost? Well, I guess there, there can be some currency like points for smart question. I will not do that for now. Usage enabled group general permissions cooldown user cooldown. Can I make like partial value? One minute is too much. No, it's fine. Every one minute. Uh, th this format I will change later. For now, I want just to be visible that bot said that. That's it. Mm. Okay, then is there a copy? Another comment is practice. Bot says to practice mm, submit another one bot or help I don't know which one is more usual I will look at somebody else's boat later to like um, to see what it should do help bot. bot says I can do. I hope that it will not go recursively. Mm. Can write. Thank you. Or practice. Or, but this is work in progress. Don't worry. Nice spam, yes. What's job of moderator on YouTube? Uh, well, he has... Moderator is somebody who would um, have more access, so he could ban people or timeout, stuff like that. 
and he could tell me at maybe I don't know private chat this question is important answer it something like this uh, bot says address type what happens if I say now bot FAQ uh, This I think will be more neat Moderator's job is to look out stuff in the chat. Yeah, exactly. So that I wouldn't waste time. And some questions are interesting. I will I will gladly answer them. I got some email. Mm. Email was that new device signed in, which is this PC. Mm. Like when I installed the bot. Now, why is that chatbot not integrated in Streamlabs OBS? Why is it separate? Separate software. Oh, there is something that is built in the software that is called CloudBot. For now, this is fine. I will later check it and compare it. Uh, okay, so my question, not question, again, I forget the word. I ask you that if somebody asks a question that is already answered, just the perfect uh, way to answer him is FAQ at, and now, like, let's say Jatin or Jatin, something like this. Uh, I think that should be perfect. We do it. Or just exclamation mark that. Is there not? Can I still spam it? Cool down. Can somebody please spam it like five times in a row? I want to understand if it's only me that is able to use it three times in a row or maybe it's just write with with exclamation mark and co copy paste it like I did not I f fake you um. so my guess is that Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, I guess it's reasonable. I can always do it. And for other people there will be that one minute cooldown. Like general, I guess. Because I could also here on the right set user cooldown that it can be used like once every five minutes, but a person cannot use it more often than once an hour. Also, I can pop this out. Cloudwood is for later. Do you see a very, very small white dot in bottom right corner of the screen? There's like one pixel. I guess that's Windows being stupid. Because indeed there is something here and there's one pixel of height that is still displayed. That's annoying. Uh, okay. Not really. Yeah. Maybe it's not visible in a stream. Uh, anyway, I tried the chatbot. Cool. I will add us to do um, current notes. Work on chatbot, possibly switch to cloudbot that is built in Streamlabs OBS. Uh, okay, and I thought that I have some decisions to make abandon Twitch, so only stream on YouTube, that would be much more convenient for me, especially now with, uh, with what, with chatbot, 25, and now if chatbot isn't enough, think about 20 min work, 5 min questions. Just, I don't like that now I spent most of the stream answering questions. But with chatbot and people also using it, like some of you using it to answer other people, it should be better. Make a video on Warsaw template. Just see how I use it in my code. That's it. It's not that good that you should use some code that is hard to understand and very ugly. Mm. Video ideas. Templates. Maybe I will combine that with. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. My genie setup and University of Warsaw templates. If combined, then it makes sense for like five minutes video. Make a video about how you spent your day. <laughs> Will it teach you anything? I am quite normal and like you can read some of that FAQ. Mm. That, uh, for example, 
I read book from time to time. I play on on PlayStation, you know, stuff like that. Uh, people will like it, but I want to make videos on algorithms. I will not make just any video that people would watch. Mm. I will see after this stream, uh, then Twitch statistics are available, I will see how many people watched it. Watched it. The thing with Twitch is that um, I expect only to grow in the future, not like to to be like worse in streaming. Uh, oh, I didn't tag as programming, that's bad, I should have. That's actually very bad because there is that programming category and in programming category it's easy with like 20 viewers to be somewhere close to the top mm. and then if i do let's say if i solve lead code problems on a stream mm, then i think i would be here in top four say and because of that new people would discover me which is not necessary true on YouTube. So three options are do what I'm doing right now. By the way, I will change those tags. Uh, I want to say that I do programming. Edit tax program one programming done. Mm. And okay, there are three possibilities. One is do what I'm doing right now, but especially because of the chat, I don't want that. There are technical issues with the chat. There is more spam, like that guy that uh, was timed out in YouTube, so he opened Twitch account. Okay. Mm. Second possibility is that by default stream on YouTube, but for some types of videos, also like restream on Twitch. Maybe when I'm, for example, solving lead code problems for five hours because that's very mainstream and new people would discover me. Mm. So still, even if it, let's say, give, it gives me optimistically 50 viewers on Twitch, then does it matter compared to a few thousands that will anyway watch on YouTube later? Maybe yes, because this uh, some of those viewers are in Twitch will watch me for a few hours. Well, those YouTube views are usually very short. Uh, so free options are don't change anything, stream only some content on Twitch as well, like lead code problems, because this is mainstream. What I'm doing now isn't that interesting, I guess. And just stick to YouTube. How can I be good in dynamic programming? Watch my lectures on dynamic programming. YouTube.com slash Erichta. There is link also in the description. It code problem solving is a good idea. People are more interested in it. Yeah, I do consider stream like 24 hours, 400 lead code problems. Maybe I will do it one day. Mm. Because that, that sounds interesting. Mm. DP, medium or hard problems on lead code. I'm doing from time to time coding interview problems. Please not lead code, it's just for interviews. Uh, no, but this 
the fact that something is just for interviews doesn't mean that I shouldn't do it. Actually, more people do interviews rather than competitive programming. Mm, plus, it's still algorithms. Some problems are interesting. Mm. One more possibility is that I restream to Twitch, but I do not care about chat there. What I think is very sad and not fair. Uh, but then I could also hide the chat. You know, the thing that is in my what top, not top, bottom right corner, there is a chat. If you write something, it appears there. I need to do it because when I'm like doing something, let's say coding, uh, people from YouTube don't see comments on Twitch and the other way around. Maybe I could then hide this chat completely. Because when you watch on YouTube, you see the chat if you just minimize the video. Then I would save some space on the screen. Oh. Uh, also, you might know if you watched me in the in in the beginning that uh, I kind of learned streaming by watching this guy Adam One Three Five Three One. Like I think his streams are amazing. This is what I would want to do if I streamed like few hours a day. And he soon will finish that that big project that he does now for two years already. That is a game kind of programming game and there are two weeks until launch and I will reach out to him uh, maybe even today uh, to say if maybe he wants me to like, play that game um, during a stream actually I don't need his permission and I it's it won't be sponsorship I, I just want to do it uh, maybe he has some suggestions like uh, I don't know whether I should play it now or after after the launch. Launch. Mm, I will do it. I also have I planning collab with Gorov Sun and with Clement from Algo Expert. Mm, so that's some plans. Like more long run. Eventually, I will try to do that lead code marathon, like twelve hours or maybe twenty four hours. But I feel that I'm too old to spend 24 hours coding non-stop, like almost non-stop, without sleep. Mm. By the way, if you like, like watching programming streams, I strongly recommend this guy, Adam13531. Mm. Oh, another idea that I had is that when I have those boring streams on Eric Tattoo channel, uh, I should make highlights for the first channel. Mm, like, say five minutes, I don't know, ten minutes. Maybe that would be interesting. Uh, for example, to, today there were some questions that I liked very much, uh, like the one about AI. I also st um, wrote down what I think is important for me, like job-wise, that it is interesting, it is cool, stuff like that, or money, which is also one of arguments that is uh, maybe the most important one, because of course this is why people need job to to get money, to to be able to live. Mm. And maybe I should take clips like that and to put it into highlights and upload to the main channel to then also attract people from the main channel to watch the second one. Mm, it would take me some time, but I need to. I can say that I enjoy editing. While, for example, making captions for videos, for short videos, is terrible. I don't like it at all. It's boring. I prefer to pay somebody a few bucks for, for that. Um, also, because I'm not perfect in English, I need to check some spelling. Mm. But editing is cool. 
and for now I'm fine with spending that say uh, I don't know it would take me 20 minutes to make those highlights assuming I could quickly find time of interesting things so then another possibility is that I, during the stream I write down if something was important a moment ago like I have a timer I know I started at this hour and then I know down at this time as I said something interesting or something cool happened and that is worth of a highlights of being in highlights and then I could quickly find it when editing the video I will not do it for today's video because I didn't even record it uh, I could download it I could download it from YouTube to then um, do something oh my phone thought that I'm talking to it and Google Assistant said it from YouTube to then do, to then do something Do you see it? So apparently I said OK Google. Mm. So yeah, but uh, not today because I would need to do some extra stuff, maybe starting from the next stream. Uh, OK, so that's that. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm now t talking about my plans for the next months and what I think, so you would know. Mm -hmm. There will be some more boring streams. Maybe they will be changed or part of them to actually creating some course because I want to do something with coding interviews. Um, and then I would name it creating this like, course or thing. And it would be more structured, less random, so also less boring. But still, it would be on the second channel, Arista 2. Mm. Hide the chat, no problem. Yes, if if we are only on YouTube, then sure. The Twitch viewers are also YouTube, so abandoning Twitch for a while is not a bad idea, I guess. I'm afraid that YouTube doesn't recommend me during streams to new people. Some will discover me on Twitch, but almost nobody on YouTube during streams. That's my... Like, I feel I'm missing on some people if I'm abandoning Twitch. But... I guess Twitch is not worth it. How how good it is now. That being said, I didn't mark myself as programming category. Uh, so it would be more. I marked it as programming only 10 minutes ago. And plus, it's a snowball. If I have a lot of viewers, then I will get more because I'm in the top of category. Uh, maybe soon there will be that moment where I'm all the time in kind of the top of programming category, unless there is somebody uh, big, like that Adam guy. Uh, and then if I have like 30 viewers, there will be new people appear. I just don't want to miss on that. Mm. Video on Hangar algorithm. Uh, no, it's very specific, not that very useful. 12 hours is good, maybe, but you know, 24 hours sounds cooler, more cool. Key points compressed in a video and put it in the main channel, yep. Uh, if I treated this more like a business, which maybe I will eventually uh, do that, then I would hire an editor for that. For now, just I don't spend a lot of time editing and it's cool for me, I like it. A uh, very efficient idea. What phone are you using? Uh, it's Google Pixel 3a. Mm. By the way, Gennady has a very similar phone. Not exactly the same, but similar. Mm. How do you learn new things by doing new problems only? I also read blocks. Like when there is new block in Code Forces that by somebody that is, let's say, purple or higher, I read it. Mm, and some of those are called educational blocks. Okay. 
we are three hours in and that should be enough thank you everybody for watching the next stream will be i don't know when mm, i think not this week i think that this week i might record something i might make some short video but i have this i don't want to share show exactly what is here on the paper but i have the like this big thing of a uh, big list of things that are to do for me in my life like buy this thing or uh, like, i don't know fill this tax form uh, and i only did like half of that in the recent days and i still have a lot of uh, a lot more to go mm. What cool books other than that? I don't know your level. Read FAQ. So please somebody use the comment now and there should or how to practice. I don't even remember which one would have the answer. Actually, what books do you recommend is a good uh, question on its own. Uh, so I will note it, but will not. Do I have something about books? No, and what about how to practice? Nothing either. So I will use it to... Add, I will add it, I mean, at the very end. To do... What books do you recommend for different levels? I want to go now already, uh, so I will not answer. I will not write down the answer. But for beginners, it's Competitive Programmer's Handbook, and then I guess solving problems is fine. Yeah, thank you. It works. Do you plan to be in any competition this year? I compete all the time. Mm. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. See you next time, likely in like a week from now. Bye.